All right, guys, so I'm here with my buddy Dawson today. What I'm going to show you, it's going to be a super quick video. Um, when I was trying to do this on my Weber kettle, I didn't have a really clear video that answered all my questions um, to, to see how to do this. But we're going to put just one of those little thermometer gaskets in into this brand new Weber kettle. Uh, so stay tuned. We'll show you how to do it. All right, so you may hear some some noise in the background. It's actually July 4th right now when we're doing this. Um, I wanted to talk to Dawson when I was showing him about this because you really want the kettle facing this way with the, with the no wheeled leg in the front because of the way your lid has to hold um, when you're taking it off and stuff. So really the ideal position, if you're planning on using it for like a snake method or something, it's gonna be right here next to this thing and you can actually hang your thermometer right there. Uh, so we'll show you how we get that done. So what Dawson's doing is you really wanna put some painter's tape down to help keep from chipping any of your enamel uh, as you drill this hole in the side of your grill. Uh, you want the tape to be all the way at the top because you want this grommet to come in above the grill grate on this side. Um, so just put down two or three pieces of tape on that side, whatever you feel like will cover the space that you're gonna be drilling. And then we're gonna mark our spot where we want the grommet to actually go here in just a second. So what Dawson's gonna do now is he's gonna kind of mark his circle as to where he wants this grommet to be. Now remember, we want it as high up as we can get so that it comes in above the grate. Um, and once we get kind of the rough markings on the outside, we'll come in and we'll make a center dot right there in the middle of that circle and that's where we'll drill. Now this is the most expensive part of this whole project. This little tool right here, if you don't have one at your house, this was like $15 by itself, which is more than the cost of two of those grommets. Um, so maybe you can borrow one, but what you need is a one and a quarter inch hole saw. And you're just gonna take it, you're gonna attach it, you're gonna, you can pre-drill if you want to. Uh, we're not going to today because we really don't have to. Um, but if you're really worried about getting in a very specific spot, you will. Uh, but you're just gonna take this, you're just gonna work your way through. And once that hole goes through, you're just gonna pop that grommet in. So that took a little bit longer than expected. That bit was a little bit dull, but you can see we got that hole there. And then, push that. And then you see the grommet. It's very close in size. What I told Dawson was you need to get you a little bit of spray oil or something and put it on this thing because it's gonna be a little tricky getting it in there. Putting a little bit of oil on this will help it kind of slide in place. That's pretty much it guys uh it's super simple uh make sure you have a sharper bit than we had that one's done a couple kettles by now and it's not really made for metal but uh you know it, it's fine so it, it looks good um it's definitely a must if you want to try to keep some smoke pressure and pretty soon i'll be coming out with a video instructing you guys on how to exactly to do the snake method on the kettle uh, but other than that go out there modify these things as much as you can shoot off some fireworks too if you got them um, and go out and cook something new